We're going to take Marv. Did, did he imply you have money? Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know where he got that idea from. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll take more of your phone calls. Uh, also, uh, Mike Pence, Massgate. You're not going to believe what what they're doing now to a reporter who is, you know, making the case that uh, he should have known and he should have worn a mask. We'll talk about that a little bit when we come back as well. More calls, 702-257-5396. Again, that number is 257-5396. We'll get to all your calls on the other side of the break. You're listening to The Vegas Take, 101.5 FM, 720 AM, KDON. Hey, welcome back, everybody. It is The Vegas Take. Sharp and Shapiro, glad you could join us on a Friday. Promised you I would get back to the phone calls quick update though you know we're talking about joe biden we're talking about uh, the woman who alleges sexual assault back in 93 her name is tara reed not the horrible actress tara reed by the way who's hot you don't think she's a good actress (laughs) no i don't american pie is a classic come on man. she's very pretty uh she i'm sure she's a very nice lady but we're talking about another tara reed okay and my opinion is if you're one of those people that has been silent when it came to donald trump and the way he's treated women over the years but now all of a sudden you want to hear this woman tara reed you have zero credibility. What do you guys think? Two five seven five three nine six. Why don't we go to uh, Matt? Matt, you are next up on the Vegas Take. What's going on? Shapiro, it's me. It's the Matt from the Take. Yeah. Finally got through. That, How are you doing, I buddy? I, I, I don't know what that means, but what, what's your point, Matt? What do you right, want to talk up, about? Well, I mean, you're talking about Joe Biden and all this, but I, I, I just want to go to Brett Kavanaugh, like what, the, what they did to this poor guy. We're right. not talking about Brett Kavanaugh. Okay, We're talking but about it Joe Biden. relates to Joe Biden it and what absolutely, everything you're talking about, the hypocrisy does, of it all. Uh, how does Brett Kavanaugh relate to Joe Biden? Please explain. Because what you're saying, these, these allegations against Biden, like all of a sudden the media, the Democrats, the CNN, MSNBC, they're all behind Biden. Like, oh, he's not true. OK, Matt, 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 oh, obviously, Matt, Matt, Matt. OK, Matt, hang on. Obviously, you don't know what you're talking about. First of all, well, how about be quiet and listen and be educated okay, for 20 seconds. Mika Brzezinski did an interview with Joe Biden this morning on MSNBC <laughs> where she excuse me. Let me finish. She sure. grilled him yesterday. All the liberals were going after MSNBC because another host went after Joe Biden and was talking about the uh, the case. So the fact that you just said that all these networks are pro Joe Biden when Mika Brzezinski killed him. And by the way, I criticized Joe Biden, if you were listening to the show earlier in the show, because I don't think he answered some of the questions as well as he should have. And I, we talked about that. So. You're already you're, you're off to a bad start. What other ridiculous sure. points would no, you I like to make? I think you're actually doing very, very well, Matt. Okay, Keep well, you know, Joe Biden, for one, he can't even finish a sentence. Let's be real. What does that have to do with sexual assault? What does not okay. finishing a I'm, sentence I'm have to do with sexual there, assault? Brian. I'm trying to get there. Well, please do, because we have other callers and you're not Okay, special. but you Go talk ahead. about MSNBC and all that, like Kristen Gillibrand, which she did to Brett Kavanaugh. What? And <laughs> now, now she's Kavanaugh all of a sudden everywhere defending Joe Biden. You know, MSNBC called Brett Kavanaugh the. All right. Well, let me ask you a very simple question. Okay, let that? me ask you. Let me ask you a very simple question. What do you think about the 25 plus women that have alleged that Donald Trump have sexually assaulted them? Some of whom they claim he he raped them. What do you think about him bragging about sexual assault? Grab him by the p word. What do you think okay. about Donald Trump's ex-wife in 1989 saying that he raped her in a court deposition? Are you willing to talk about that? Okay, I mean, as far as his ex-wife goes, I don't really know, but I well, do I know just Donald told you Trump what was a billionaire and a public figure for almost What does a billionaire years. have to do with sexual assault? So that's your defense of sexual no, assault no, no. because and he was I mean, a billionaire? As far as there, there, the there's, grab there's by the P-word in the there's locker room, there. like, I mean, I, I wasn't was in a locker room. Personally, when you're, well, a, when you're a billionaire, you're more of a target than someone who isn't I can't hear both of you. I'm sorry. What What did you say? Go ahead. Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, as far as, like, the other people, like, the 25 cases, like, I mean, yeah. he would have been sued and charged if these were true. <laughs> like, so what about Bill? Around, hold on a second. A public figure. Excuse me. For so he would long. have been. OK, let's go with that. He would have been sued or charged for all well, the years. Course. that Bill, Why Excuse me. Have? Excuse me. What about Bill Cosby? I know he's in jail right now. Well, I don't know but about for how many? Cosby. Excuse me. Let me finish my point. Sure. For decades, decades, Bill Cosby was an actor, a comedian. And never charged with anything. So your premise makes absolutely okay. zero sense. Well, it's I mean, not okay. You're saying idiotic no, things. No, I said Go everything ahead. is like every case is different, Brian. Every case. Every case is different. The so that's your point. In the so media, that's the point. Like well, you know what? Every every like caller is different. You're right. And I'd like to get to the next caller. Every caller. 
every caller is different, and you were not okay. one of the good ones. You're Let's right. go into another. I think he's. I think he's a very. Actually, yeah. Matt, I, I want to give you a second to promote. You and I actually are putting together a pretty major protest tomorrow. I want you to talk about that protest because it looks to me like well, it starts at. 11. I don't really want to talk no, about I, it. I, 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 I don't really want to promote I just, that. I just want to promote it very briefly. I don't. It's, it starts at eleven o'clock. I don't want to promote from, it uh, from the uh, Clark, uh, Trump rally. Uh, it's not a Trump rally. Brian. How many people will it have is, Trump it, signs? It, it, is, it is a reopen rally. And again, it's, it's not your place to promote it. It's our show. I'm part of it, so I'm going to promote it. Well, I don't that, think it's our place for the show to promote well, it. But go it ahead. Why is it not? Go, well, I, Anyways, I think it's, it's inappropriate. So, so it's the Clark, it starts at the Clark County Government Building, 500 South Grand Central Parkway, and it just travels down the strip and heads back to the same location. Again, this is this is for reopening Nevada. It's by the group Nevada's okay. Against Extended Quarantine. By the way, uh, which, which right. may matter. How's that going to work out, by the way, since uh, the extension's to the 15th, right, of May? How, so you guys are having a protest tomorrow on May second. Yeah, how, how's that working out? I mean, how's that uh, how's yeah. that impacting what is actually going to happen as far as the state of Nevada getting shut well, down? Well, it's perfectly fine getting in your car, which this will be a totally is Matt still on the line? Pro- I, I think you believe is he Matt? You still there? Matt, you still there? Okay, okay, so I will also since you were willing to bring up That's that fine. that uh, Facebook group, That's I fine. wasn't going to, but I That's will fine. now. Uh, there was somebody in the Facebook group that compared Adolf Hitler to Governor Sisolak. That man who we just had on the line. His name is Matt Anthony. He's one of the moderators. He defended it. And even though he said, well, I don't necessarily agree with it, but it's a First Amendment right. He has the First Amendment right to compare Governor Sisolak as a Nazi. I think that page is disgraceful. I think the average IQ, average, not everybody, the average IQ of people on that Facebook group is about 25. The idiots that are on that page that make ignorant statements about Governor Sisolak on a daily basis is disgraceful. I think they're a bunch of morons. And you know what? I'm sorry, that guy we just had on the line, I think he's a complete idiot. He defended comparing Sisolak to a Nazi. The man is disgraceful. Anyways, he works anyways, in the I, nightclubs. I, I, Go back to your nightclub. I saw, Brian, you work in radio, okay? Yeah, I'm happy right. with what I do. Right, but you know what? Anyways, I, would, I wouldn't open up a that, page that, like that. that. That being said, I helped him start that page. It has 7,000 yeah. members. There are smart some, members. Well, there, are, there are some extremists, obviously, that make yeah. posts like that. The, some? The second I saw that. Every day there's something like that. The second Every I saw day. that, I deleted that post. Obviously, that's that's not an accurate association. Well, the guy that we but, just but, had but, on but, ins- but, but insulting him, I don't think is necessary. That being said, let's go to the next one. I will insult anybody who defends somebody comparing the governor to a Nazi and undermining the Holocaust. Seven million Jews were murdered. You're damn right I'm going to go after somebody like that. That guy is an idiot, and he needs to do his homework on what exactly what happened in Nazi Germany. If you disagree with Sisolak's politics, that's fine. If you want to open up a page, and when you want to and make again, your he, little he remarks, did, he that's de- fine. He didn't defend it. He said it was their First Amendment yeah, right. Yeah, which is, that, yeah, I guess said. it's your First Amendment okay. right to be a racist and an idiot. He didn't say, uh, I, I, he didn't say I agree right. okay. with that. I think Sisolak is a Nazi, because I obviously do right. not think he's a Nazi. Do I think he's a bit of a dictator? Yes. But Trump is a, not. I don't think he's a Nazi. But Trump is not a dictator. Uh, right? Trump, Trump is definitely right. not a dictator. Right. Okay, well, that okay. makes sense. 702-257-5396 is the number to call. Again, that number is 257-5396. If you'd like to be a part of the conversation, I have no idea who our next caller is. Ira? Ira? Okay, Ira, you're up next. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Ira? Hey, hey, gentlemen. How you guys doing? Doing great. So well, Just uh, don't promote any there... Facebook page. That's all I ask. Okay. Is all right? We talk about the virus, so I think it's a lot more important than all this bullshit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so Go ahead. This is my opinion. When all this stuff first came out, we did the right thing by shutting everything down because we didn't know. But now we got all this information. And almost everybody says that 80% of this is for the elderly people, 65 and older. Then they said 45 and under, like 1,500 people died. And 25 and under, like 100 people died. So all they need to do is take care of all the elderly, and everybody else can go to work safely and everything like that. And I know this is not nice to say, but over 60,000 people have died. But now we got 30 million people out of work. 30 and, million, literally. You're right. 30 million. And I don't, I mean, That's they got to do now. something because. You look at people protest, not a lot, but people are protesting. But I could already see it that if I was a married man with kids and I got no money, I'm going to go to the store and rob them. And that's what's going to happen eventually. Okay, they don't so, you're, up so, because, so basically you're saying because you want to go back to work, and by the way, you're not, not just him. It's 30 million people, Brian. Just just finish. 30 million people. If I could just, if that's I could just, 10% of the population just, of the country that are out of work you, right now. Again, you gave me two that seconds. That is insanity. Again, you gave me two seconds, and you just interrupted me and didn't allow me to make my point with the caller. Caller, are you still on the line? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so basically what you're saying is if you were in that situation with a wife and kid and a family and you couldn't work, you would take it upon yourself to break the law and rob somebody because you don't agree with the governor's No, uh, no, no. You didn't hear what I said. What you're it's going to get to that point. It'll let people go back it's to going work. To- I, I know. need to I mean, take everybody's- care of my family, and I'm going to go to the grocery store and take okay. the food. Well, That's what I Guess said. what? Guess what? Guess what? 
the governor doesn't make decisions because there might be some buffoons out there that are going to break the law or no, threaten no, to break the law. No, you don't listen to me, young man. You're not listening to me. People are older are the ones that have the problems. No, so that's not true. Let me chime true. in on that. People, but no, not what you're just putting go back to work. Hey, let me chime in on your, 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 what you just put out about uh, about the elderly, and you put some numbers out as far as that. Let me tell you something. Public health experts absolutely disagree with your input there. They do not disagree I with listen they, to every, that, I listen There's to a reason channel. why we have mitigation right now. There's a reason why there's a stay yeah, at a home of, order. A lot of it's and it's not, it, well, but, but he's, he's putting out numbers, and he put out an opinion right there what? that's not true. What, what it's not factual. Yeah, public that. health officials. He's talking yeah, about the elderly. Chris, Chris, let's be honest. If you're if you're 85 years old, or if you're 85 years old right now, without you're trying to make the case with, for him now on that, he's wrong. No, 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 he's wrong. News. Just listen, Chris. If, you, if you're there. 85 years old right now in the United States, you have about a 10 percent chance of dying, no matter okay. what. Yeah, in, sounds good. In, in the yeah. next year, I get it. If you have yeah. COVID, that goes up to about 15 percent. Okay. Is there a disparity there? Yes. Um, does, is, it, does the virus make you sick? Especially, or does the virus kill you if you're very, very sick already? Yes. Does it affect the amino you know, the, the immunosuppressed? Yes. But is it worth unemploying 30 million people and possibly setting back the economy for for X amount of years, no. The only and, point, that's, and that's a conversation right now. J.D., the only point I was making is that there are public health officials that have the real numbers. That guy put forth his his idea has real about, about the elderly and what we should outlets, do. Not just and one just young wrong. man. A lot of different wrong. outlets all said Fox that. News and Breitbart. It must, have been Bre- it must yeah. have been Yeah, it must have been Laura Ingram, Breitbart, Fox no, News. It was OAN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was yeah, the yeah. best yeah. network in the country. Goodbye, OAN. goodbye, OAN. sir. Goodbye, sir. Good call. 257-5396. Let's go to Troy. Troy, you're next up at the Vegas. Steak. Hey, hey good up, morning, Troy? guys. Welcome back, JD. It's good to hear you. Yeah, absolutely. Back in the game. Hey. Yeah. Uh, this morning we opened up, or the show started to open up about Joe Biden, and then yep. Brian. Uh, before you were ever to make an argument about sexual assault, you essentially he attacked it. He flipped the script. All Trump supporters. Yeah. No, nope. first of all, let me correct you because you're wrong. We didn't open up the show with Joe Biden. It was we opened masterful, up, excuse actually. me, if, thank you. Uh, we didn't open up the show with Joe Biden, sir. We started the show at 9 a.m. when we talked about Syslex. So you started this phone call factually inaccurate. I'm not, I'm not surprised because you're a Trump supporter. Uh, number it two, here's, excuse me, excuse me. Right here's the point. Here's the point that I made. Here's the point that I made, and I'll say it again to get it through your head so you could listen and try to understand this, because. The people out there that have been silent when it comes to Donald Trump for three and a half years, for four years, with the 25 women that have come forward, with bragging about, excuse me, let me finish my, I I didn't say you were, I didn't say you were, if you could let me finish my statement, what I said was those people have zero credibility if all of a sudden now you're going after Joe Biden. That's all I said. I don't know whether Joe Biden committed a sexual assault. By the way, I've never called Donald Trump a sexual assaulter. I've called him a womanizer, infidelity. I've never called him a rapist because I don't know if that's true or not. Just like I don't know if Joe Biden committed this assault. All I'm saying is you don't have any credibility if you're going after Biden now, but never went after Trump. That's the only point I made, sir. So I have no idea what you're talking about. And so the point that I'm trying to make is sexual assault is wrong. I agree. No matter what. I agree. No matter if I'm a stupid Trump supporter. Did I say not. sexual assault was okay? Did I ever say that? No, you said if sexual assault. Oh my gosh, a Trump guy didn't do this or didn't do that. You no, nope, that's not what I said. Like, that's not. You're making absolutely that, no man. sense. I just, no. I just, sta- hold on. I just stated my opinion very clearly. I, don't know how I just stated my opinion it's very clearly. A straw man. Man, what are you talking about? What are you ta- man. What what did I say specifically that you just dis- What did I say specifically? Okay, you can use your ad hominem all you want. I'll ask you again. What did I say specifically that you disagree with? Stop putting words in my mouth. I told you okay, my opinion. I what have I said? With you that all Trump supporters are idiots. Didn't say all Trump supporters. You. See, you see how this guy. Goodbye with this guy. He didn't no, say that. He goodbye said, with this guy. He, he said we've any, never said all said of them any, are any, anything. Any, anyone who was attacking yeah. Biden, who did not attack Trump, yes, has no has no credibility. No, right. no, not just no, but no effing credibility. Yes. No okay. Effing I, yeah. credibility. Okay. And what right. I very and, and I'm right. That, that, and I'm right. That's a very important. What word. I didn't say was that all Trump supporters are idiots. So this guy yeah. calls in, has no idea what he's talking about, and that what was a sh- incorrect. What a shocker. Hey, well, he was incorrect with everything Troy, he that said. Was, that was a good call. Yeah, Troy. it was a great call, even though he didn't make one factual uh, fact, fact in that entire phone well, call. Well, no, he did. He no, said, he didn't. He said that I'm back in the game, and that's a fact. Okay, well, you are. You, okay. you are. 2575, for now, 2575396 is the number to call. Let's go to David. David, you're next on the Vegas Take. Hey, what's up, David? David, go ahead. 
257-5396 is the number to call. Carlos, Carlos, you're up next. What's going on? Hey, Carlos. Yeah, I think I think they should have Kavanaugh type hearings just to be fair. So those wussy uh, interviews on uh, MSNBC and CNN. And Tara Reid, she's a, a a Biden supporter actually and a Democrat. I don't know. You, if you thought Mika Brzezinski? Yet. Hold on a second. You thought Mika Brzezinski this morning did a wussy interview with Joe Biden? I think they're both were. They should have. They should string them up just like. Well, then you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about because she held his head to the fire, and you need to go back and watch. I don't even think you watched the interview because if you did, you would notice that she grilled him on the fact that he won't allow these Delaware records to be put forth. And I said on the show that it made him look very bad. It made him sound guilty the way he answered those questions. He always says, "Come on, man." She said that in the interview. So, Brian, pose him the pose him the magic question, Brian. Pose him the question that you've asked all these other callers. Yeah. Pose yeah. It to him. What do you think about Donald Trump and the 25 women that have come forward and him bragging about sexual assault? Uh, do you think that he should be grilled in a Kavanaugh-type hearing? Yeah, if they, if they bring it up, yeah. But well, what do you mean? It's been brought up for three and a half years by, by every Democrat, not many Republicans because they don't want to talk about it. But uh, Donald Trump, 25-plus women. I haven't heard you call in and ever talk about that before. Why is that? I don't know. But yeah, well, I know. I know. I know because you well, wear Donald Trump knee pads. No, I'll, That's I'll why. tell you what, because we've never actually we discussed it. We, we, we discussed Stormy Daniels much more yeah. than we discussed Stormy sexual Daniels assault. was not about sexual yeah, exactly. assault. Exactly. So we haven't talked about it. The reason why we, we barely dis- we, the, we talked we talked about that the woman Stormy Daniels, the woman in New York who had like the fashion line. We talked about her for maybe ten minutes one time, but Stormy, we never really talked about Donald Trump. Stormy Daniels and sexual is a completely different situation. We talked about campaign possible campaign yeah. finance laws yeah. and the fact that he lied about it, and from an ethical standpoint, well, and, and we know his attorney, or we and, know her attorney very well and from an ethical standpoint when the first lady has a child and then a month or two after that the president cheats on her with a porn star totally i think than, it's relevant totally different than sexual assault. well i agree you're the one okay. that brought it up not me two five seven five three nine six let's go to paul paul you're next up on the vegas take hey what's up paul hi hey how you doing good That's what's on your mind man? question brian what do you make of her mother going on larry king well, I think it certainly helps her case. Uh, I did listen to that phone call, and I think it was pretty telling. My understanding, sir, correct me if I'm wrong, but her mother's passed away, uh, sadly. I wish her mother was still around to talk about it. Uh, but certainly I think it brings a little bit of credibility. There's, there's no question about that. But I, I've would, been very... I, would say that, I would say that takes a lot, a lot of credibility. Well, here's the only problem, though. And again, Paul, uh, the truth of the matter is I don't know if, the, if he committed sexual assault or not. Here's what I do know. She deserves to be heard out. There needs to be an investigation. Uh, with that being said, he's never been accused of sexual assault before in his life. And Donald Trump has a lifelong history of, of, of accusations. So I think if you want this investigation to go forward with Biden, you should probably want all those other uh, Trump girls uh, that have but, accused him of sexual assault. You should Brian, want investigations with that as well. That's Brian, all. Why, why in every subject, every subject you have to bring up Donald Trump? The because, well, have, here's why. Oh, let me First finish. Of, let me finish. The hate that you have for Donald Trump consumes you. It okay. over First of all, you, and that's for okay. most Democrats, well, too. It does, okay. It, it, First it, of all, it okay, so let me respond to that. First of all, I'm not a Democrat, so you can pin me in a quarter and call me what you there like. There is no one uh, that that's number to one. show that doesn't think you're a Democrat okay, at this point, If Ryan, I could just finish. No one. No, I don't care. I don't care I'm what, what you. some you of the are, people you are in your Democrat. group think. I don't care. Just because you didn't vote Democratic, That's you, fine. you are a Democrat, Okay, if you want, I know you don't want me to label you, so please don't label I'm me. I'm a Democrat. Okay? So I, let me go I, back Chris to this caller. Yeah, I think okay. Brian's actually more left than you are sometimes. Okay, well, I, think I think he's in the Pacific okay. Ocean the last three weeks. Okay, let me know when I can respond to the caller. <laughs> can I respond? Is the <laughs> caller still there? I'm listening. Okay, yeah. so Donald Trump is something called the President of the United States. He's the leader of the free world. Now, if you like Donald Trump and you think he's great, that's fine. That's your opinion. It is my job to give you my opinions from the, the leader of the free world, uh, and I criticize him for things that I think are very, very fair. First of all, I think he's a horrible human being, okay, based on the history and the way he's lived his life, and I could give you plenty of examples. I don't think I need to. And I criticize him for coronavirus response. I criticize him for the way he treats people in these press conferences. I criticize him for coming up with conspiracy theories and talking about injecting yourself with disinfectant. I criticize him. Now, Joe Biden is running for president of the United States. And the reason why I bring Donald Trump into this equation is because there's a lot of people on the right that want to hear this woman. They want her to be heard. They're call- some are calling Joe Biden a pedophile. Some are calling him a rapist. And my response to them is very simple. Where were you when all these allegations came out when it came to Donald Trump? Where were you when Donald Trump bragged about grabbing women by the you-know-what? If you were one of those people that were silent, I don't want to hear from you. 
If you yeah, want well, one of those, Brian, where were you when he was smelling everyone's hair? I think there is a fine two different things. Two different yeah, things. There's a fine things. distinction between. But, no, no, it's creepy. Joe, though. Excuse it's me. Creepy. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's a fine distinction when you have a problem with Joe Biden, who might be touchy feely and, and sniffs a girl's hair, Many to girls. someone who Several. brags about grabbing yeah. women by the. We're, we're, we're not talking just girls, children. Young, we're not just talking women. women. Okay, so guys, let me chime in on this, okay? There's a clip that runs here on KDWN every day where they're talking with this. Brian Kilmeade has a show, and they discuss this. There is a difference, okay, between Joe Biden having his nose hairs close to somebody sniffing their hair and sexual assault. These are two different things, okay? We are a civilized society, and we know a way to distinguish those. Well, unless you're you're completely biased like that last caller. Let's go to Ron. Ron, you're next up on the Vegas Take. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Ron? Hey, 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 Brian, JD. I hope uh, I hope your I think it was your son or daughter. Brian was telling me Thursday that didn't feel too well. I hope everything's going fine. I don't know. Hello? I don't know if JD. Yeah, I don't know if JD's daughter being sick. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. No, I, anyway, I, yeah, Brian. Go ahead. Before you my phone. My anyway, uh, before so my phone cut out, phone Brian, uh, uh, on Thursday when I last spoke to you, you told me to call back, but you guys put on such a go- good show that your lines were so busy I couldn't get in. Anyway, um, I, my point was I, I think the governor did good about closing uh, closing the, the strip, but my heartache is with uh, a couple concerns of my friends about taking the right of experimental drugs away from the people. See, some of these people are betting on, on a drug that's already established that so far has did good for some of the people with this disease that we're, we're right. having a problem with. Are you and, talking about that, the REMS d- Demiker? Is that what it's no, called? It's, it's called Remvesadir, um, and Fauci just touted it as a uh, even yeah. though the, even though even though the numbers are very similar to hydroxychloroquine, and it's about a hundred times more expensive. Right, right, been right. See it. now, these people, the rights taken away from them. That I disagree with him. Um, I, I, you know, twenty percent mortality sued. rate. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's just like getting sued by a couple of doctors here in Nevada for that. Well. Well, 20% mortality rate is what it's at when you're on a <coughs> uh, a ventilator, and you're you're probably not going right. to come back. What are your thoughts on What are your thoughts on Joe Biden? Because that's, that's obviously actually, what we've been talking about the last about, hour and well, 15 minutes. My my thoughts on Joe Biden is I don't know, and he deserves due process. That I have to say. That's something that they didn't give our Supreme Court pick. Uh, everybody thought he was guilty. They really didn't, you know. They really well, the, the problem with uh, social media is, and the media, they, well, they got they, process. They, they can they can hold their own court of law, and they can create guilt based He's, on how they cover things. But he got and that's, process. and that's what they did to Kavanaugh. That's what they did to Trump. He's, and I hope the same thing is done to Joe Biden in these circumstances. But right. he's on the Supreme Court. He had he has he had he had absolutely he had uh, a process that went through, and he's he's on the Supreme Court now. So this whole notion that he that he wasn't you know, that, he, that he didn't get treated well, I don't understand right. that. We covered he's it. On, for, he's we, on the Supreme Brian Court. Brian and I covered it for two weeks. We actually. We, we had a running joke, an I like beer running joke that we did every single day for three months. I mean, it was he he didn't get good coverage. He he was a basketball good coach. Good coverage. That's he, fine, he, he was a basketball as as coach for, for his daughter's basketball team. He had to stop that. I mean, this guy was pretty much destroyed he got hammered. publicly. Yeah, he did, J.D., and, but, but he and, did and, get due process, and he's now on the Supreme Court. So I don't right, really understand uh, the argument. Let's take some more phone calls, 257-5396. Let's go to Kelly Ann. Uh, your last name doesn't happen to be Conway, would it? Kellyanne, thanks for calling in. What's on your mind? Hey, what's up, Kellyanne? I'm Kellyanne, not Conway. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Go ahead, Kelly. What's on your mind? Brian, you really need to stop accusing Donald Trump of bragging about sexual assault. He did. He did, though. He was on tape. He did. On tape. He, he did no, it. No, he was no, on no. tape. No, what's on tape is he said, when you're rich and famous, they let you do it. Right, yeah. He didn't say he it's, does it. He, 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 did, he did imply that it was consensual. He did imply that. That's so true. you think just randomly grabbing women by the P word, you're, you're okay with that language? He you're okay with what he said? You. He's talking more of the type of uh-huh. women. Now, when he's saying he, grab them by the P word, that's not, that's not, that's a different, a different statement that he, he made. It's a different he, sentence. What, what, I don't understand why you guys can't figure that what out. What he's actually saying is yeah. that when you're famous, it's very easy to have multiple sexual partners. All right, that, so that, we can go down this road, Kellyanne. That's basically what he's saying, but he said it in the worst possible terms that I've that I've never even heard right, before, so let me, and I've been in a We can go back and listen myself. to the audio. Yeah. We have the audio. All right. Let, let you, when you're rich and famous, they let you. Okay, so, Kellyanne, uh, what would you say if your daughter was dating a man that spoke like that? What am I supposed to say to that? Men well, talk, answer, you know? You so your response honestly, would be men yeah. talk. That's your you response? Can answer it honestly. 
Personally, I think you're a sexual deviant, Brian. So <laughs> I'm a sexual. What have I said that would make me a sexual deviant? I would never. I don't. I don't. I, what would I say? You turn everything what have I said? Into a sexual situation. Everything. I turn everything into a. Well, you know what? Talking to you is certainly not a sexual situation. Have a nice day. Seven zero two two five seven five. You notice, folks, when you're speaking to a Trump supporter, and not just a Trump supporter, but a biased Trump supporter, and you ask them a very, very simple question, such as. Because she was start defending Trump's comments, grab him by the P word. And I said, what would you say to your daughter if she was dating a man that spoke like that? And her response was, men talk. Make no mistake about it, Kelly Ann. You are a disgrace. For you to defend that type of language and then call me a sexual deviant, you are a disgrace and you must be a horrible Brian, mother. Brian, you have, what kind of a statement is that? So that is that is insanity. Come on. You that's insanity. You can't just assume that she's a horrible mother. Well, Come here's on, why I'm man. going with that. And Brian, you do talk about JD. sex all the time. When we have interviews with porn right. stars, you literally get like elated. I mean, you, you can actually hear it. You can right. hear it well, through the radio. When, when, we, when we talk sex or we talk to porn stars, you get you get like so excited. And every and, okay. and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I like for talking to porn stars, though, too. Okay, but for the record, your wife booked porn stars on the show, not me. She booked porn stars. Wait, wait. So I'm just saying. Which your, one? Your wife has booked us porn stars. I have no problem before. with porn stars. So okay. I'm just saying. Yeah, and I, I don't and have I, a problem. And I don't either. But I'm saying Brian really gets he really gets excited when we have someone. In, he probably in, does. Well, that's in, I noticed that's in the, that you dodged the, the Chippendales industry. when they came in. You didn't sh even show up in studio. I think you're afraid of the Chippendales. When we had the Chippendales in studio, you weren't in studio. I, I, you didn't show but up. But I did go to the Chippendales show. Yeah, but you didn't show which, up when they were in studio. I actually thought was All okay. Right. I'm just saying that's gonna be. But I, I I would have. I think I, I don't know. I, I had some type of thing where I couldn't be there. I don't know what it was.